So you've come up with a great idea that you think might change the world and you want to protect it. How to protect it? Well, a patent is the best route. But the services of a patent attorney can be ten to twenty thousand dollars. Join me as I describe how to prepare and file a patent application that will be acceptable to the USPTO and that can give you some protection over what's new about your invention. My name is Niall and I'm a California attorney. I've been working in the field of patents and trademarks for about 10 years now in both US and Canada. I could provide you with some insight into how the process works and how to prepare the application. Then we'll go through the filing procedures and some of the technicalities with the filing and finally international protection if your uh, invention gets some traction and you want to look at uh, protecting it down the road. But first a disclaimer. I don't know you, I don't know your invention, and uh, I'm not providing any legal advice for you. I'm just providing some general guidelines to help prepare your own materials for filings. The subject matter of your patent is important because only some subjects can be protected. So areas that you can get protection in are devices and apparatus, procedures, and compositions of matter. So if you're Invention is a software invention. It's a very contentious area right now and you'd be best off uh, seeking advice of a patent attorney to let you know whether your software invention is potentially patentable. Anatomy of a patent. We're going to look at a, uh, a patent application. This is the, uh, the one that we're going to be using throughout this course. So it'll be a good introduction to it and you can see where to find various aspects of a, of a patent application in the publication. So first off, you don't need to format the application in this uh, format. This is done by the USPTO. So you'll be submitting an application that is, um, follows the format largely that we uh, discuss in the course. And then at the publication, 18 months after the filing, the USPTO will format the application into this and it gets published this way. It looks pretty, uh, pretty professional. Okay, so first of all, you have a United States patent application publication. Here's the publication number. This is an application. It's not yet an issued patent. And this is the publication date. These are the inventors. In this case, there's two of them. Here's the firm that helped them file the application. And the assignee here is the company that owns this uh, patent owns the invention, hand presso in this case in uh, France. So on the first page you have a representative drawing. In this case it's a perspective view of the uh, you know of the closed uh, device and I'll just explain briefly how it works. Here's the abstract which also describes the invention but um, as you'll see from the language of the abstract it's not as easy to figure out you know, from reading a patent application, what the patent is actually about. So the drawings are good guidance um, in letting you know, you know, what is uh, what the invention looks like, and the text will help to illuminate the features of the invention. So here, basically, we have a hot water chamber. Below it is a place where you put coffee grounds, and then this is a basically a pump and this is the handle that provides some air pressure to drive the hot water through the grounds and produce a hot espresso. You can see it in here there's a, even a pressure gauge this is probably a some kind of release valve. Here's the cutaway this is the plunger of the uh, of the pressure basically works like a like a portable bicycle pump. Um, Right here, this is the chamber for the water, and the pressure drives through this line here into the water chamber to push the water down through the grounds here and out of the outlet into your cup. So as we look at the application, the first 
Here the headings aren't labeled, but usually they are. Here we're looking at the background here. It describes um, basically what the prior art was before this invention. Uh, we're looking here at um, these, the list of the figures. And then the detailed description goes through and describes figure one. Um, and then the, it'll go through further. And then here's where figure two starts and uh, so on. So each of the components is given a number and the number, the reference numeral here corresponds to the reference numeral on the figure for that component. And uh, the reference numerals are not duplicated. So each component has a unique reference numeral throughout. And then finally, this is the, uh, this is where the claims start here. This is the first independent claim and this represents the inventor's claim on what is new for the patent. So there's patent application. This one is um, eight pages long, single spaced, so substantial document.